All right. I got the, the thumbs up. I think we're recording now. Um, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Las Vegas. Welcome to the Women's Conference at the Photo Booth Expo. How many of you is your first time here? Oh my goodness. Wow, we got lots of newbies. Well, we're very excited to help you, or help you, to have you. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank Julia. I know that she's out setting up, but um, she's done an amazing job. This is the second year that she has sponsored the, um, the Women's Conference, and I think it's really important to make sure that we reach out to each other, support each other, lift each other up. Um, we are all collaborators in this crazy world that we call the photo booth world. And I'm so happy to see so many boss babes out here. Um, my name is Lisa Oler. I don't know a lot of you. I know a handful of you. Um, I've been in the business for ages. I started my company, um, I was Smile Lounge Photo Booth, and I started back in 10 years ago in 2010. My first event was my husband's 50th birthday. And I had a little funky printer sitting up on the table, and I had a webcam attached to a computer, and I had a photo booth. Um, things have come a long way. They've changed quite a bit. Um, you'll see on the floor, we need to get up to the show floor tonight and this week, that there are a lot of different iterations of what a photo booth is. Um, today I'm going to speak to you a little bit on how you can use experiential services to grow your business. I imagine um, a lot of you are probably starting in the private um, event space. So how many of you do weddings and personal parties? Lots of you. How many of you are in the corporate environment? Well, more about half and half. How many of you want to be in the corporate environment? There we go. Um, so when I started, I was also in the, I did a lot of ton of bridal shows. I did a lot of graduation parties. And slowly I started to evolve my business and I headed more down the corporate route. But what I talk to you about today can be used in both the private and the public environment. So you're able to take a lot of the services that we're using with our corporate clients and translate those into unique experiences for your brides and your bar and bat mitzvahs and your receptions and your graduations and all that fun stuff. So it's really just a way to um, kind of elevate your company and your services. Oh, I wasn't ready for that yet. <laughs> this thing has a mind of its own today. There we go. Um, so a little bit about me. As I said, I'm, I've been in the business for about 10 years. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I decided that it was time for me to find my exit strategy with Smile Lounge Photo Booth. I had been operating for about eight years and was ready to transition into the next phase for my life. And I had been friends with Brian Miller, who is the owner and founder of LA Photo Party. We've been friends for a number of years and we had a nice discussion and collaborated and they acquired Smile Lounge and I became their logistics manager. And then last year I transitioned and I'm now doing sales full time for them. Um, so LA Photo Party, we're kind of a three prong company. The um, the side that, I'm, that I participate most with now is our events business. So I'm in charge of selling our services in through corporate clients. Um, we do some private parties as well, but at this point we're mostly corporate. If you see us on the show floor, we also manufacture and sell our own hardware. We've got some amazing photo booths, the Infinite and the Venture, and we have the Sidekick that is our print station. And then we also manufacture, I'm sorry, develop and produce our own software. Um, one of the things that attracted me to this company way back when was Brian Miller had this proprietary software and I wanted it. And I hounded him um, for years until he finally sold it. And that truly is what took my business to the next level is being able to tap into software and services that I previously had not had the capabilities um, of using before. So let's see if I can do this thing right. YouTube. Yay! Um, so what we're going to talk about today is the experiential marketing aspect of our business. And you'll hear that kind of bantered about a lot as you start getting into the corporate world. Experiential marketing and engagement and um, a lot of that is involved in really bringing your customer into 
immersing them into their photo booth experience. And some of that is in software, and a lot of that is in the creative and the graphic design, and also how you're presenting it and, and making that experience unique for your customers. So really what it is for us is a, we're raising the bar versus racing to the bottom. Um, I think that, that you've all probably come into this in your market where you've got price points that are here and you've got price points that are here. And we really want to start ele elevating ourselves and our business and our markets so that we are offering something to our clients so that we can raise the bar and raise those price levels. What is experiential marketing? Well, they tell me that it's involving or based on experience and observations. Pretty simple, not a whole lot of information that really tells you what it is. The definition that I like best is engagement marketing. Here's where you are directly engaging your consumers and you're encouraging them to participate in the evolution of a brand or a brand experience. Insert guest or guest experience for brand for those of you who are working in the public sector and not, I'm sorry, in the private sector. Um, I really like this term because it really, I think it describes more of what we're trying to do with our clients. We're really trying to engage them and bring them in and make this truly an experience for them. It's not, you know, a box with a camera in the front. We're really bringing them in and immersing them in a whole new world. So at LA Photo Party, we kind of look at this in a bunch of different categories. We've broken that out so that Rather than saying we're a photo booth company or we're a experiential marketing photo engagement company, um, we really want to break that down and identify to the clients how that looks so that when you are speaking with them, and I'll step back, I'll also have this available for you for slides if you want it later. Um, you can kind of identify those different categories and market some of your experiences so that guests really understand what um, what they're getting into, what they're buying into. We've got a handful. Um, I'll go through these briefly just so you have an idea of where the experiential and engagement marketing world is going. Um, so you have your typical photo booth where everybody's doing green screen and GIFs, uh, video. Our, so our software has a really unique morphing capability where you can you know turn into, I think I turned myself into, um, Beyonce at one yeah. time. Yeah. She had the hair going. Um, light painting. If any of you know or have met Kelly Williams, she's one of the most amazing light painting artists I've ever met in my entire life. She's fantastic. In fact, she's just all around good at everything. And she's about to have a baby, so wish her well if, you, if any of you know her. Um, VR and AR, this is really where you're going to see a lot of your corporate bank brands paying big attention to. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about how some of that works with our with our software. We're not the only one who offers um, a lot of these services in our software. I don't want to, I'm not trying to pitch you on LA Photo Party. I'm only telling you what I know from my experience in using them, but I know that there's a lot of other people out on the show floor that offer something as well. Find something that you like, find something that resonates with you, learn your software, learn the capabilities, and then sell the shit out of it. Um, film studio, we're doing a lot of this stuff where we're taking the camera out of the booth. Like you, so you've got this wonderful camera here on the tripod, you can do a lot of stuff that's more studio quality. Um, we're using sliders where the camera's actually moving on a dolly track. We have a jib where the camera rests on a, a camera arm and you can raise it up and zoom in and zoom out so it really gives you a broader scope of what the activation is like. Uh, VR brush, AR effects, mixed reality, gamification. Um, the industry is just so ripe for all of us to really immerse ourselves and our clients in um, some of these experiences. Uh, Mosaic, that's a really fun one. You'll see that on the show floor. I think there's a couple of companies that offer that. Um, blah, 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 photo studio, just book and branding. I know we've got a lot to get through. So body tracking is one of the um, really exciting features that you might see start to see a lot of. And this is where companies are using a connect sensor to do actual tracking of your um, different parts of your body. So for, oh wow, that's better. So for Pandora, we did this experience where we created these effects when guests would pop their hand up, little 
sparks would fly out of their fingers or if they leaned their body to the left or to the right it made these little wings pop out. Um, it really made it a unique and engaging experience and something that these people had never seen before. We took this on a 16 tour stop, 16 stop tour. Um, so we had people traveling to Florida and Chicago and I actually did this out at Stagecoach in California for any of you that are my Country Western fans. Any Country Western fans? No? Gosh. <laughs> I'm so in the minority all the time. All right, I see one over there. Awesome. Um, and here what we're doing is using the software to actually create a mask of their body and then they can layer different effects over that. So we can turn you into Shazam. We can turn you um, into... Um, SpongeBob by mapping different parts of your body. It's really a, a, an amazing experience. Here we used it um, in a game environment. So we had people that were trying to catch fruit and trying to avoid the poopy diapers because if you catch poopy diapers, then it just goes all over you. Um, so really fun, unique way that um, we're trying to bring the guests into the experience and make it a little more immersive. Uh, the next one is our AR effects. Um, this uses Snap Camera or Snapchat to use lenses that are available on your phone and bring those into your photo booth. Um, I, I don't know how many other booth operators are offering this currently, but you're able to create custom lenses as well. So if you have something, you'll see at the end here where he turns into a vampire. We um, created that lens as a co-production uh, with Fox, who was doing a a uh, show called The Passage, and guests were infected with a virus and it turned them into like this vampire character. So it's kind of like a morphing experience, but it was um, done through a Snapchat lens. And then what we do is we're able to export that as a video or a GIF for the guests to be able to engage with socially. Um, if you are not currently offering social media sharing for your clients, I would highly <laughs> recommend that you do that. Um, we're like the now generation and everybody wants to get their photo or their video immediately and um, there's a lot of different software companies that will work with your photo booth software to be able to offer that to your guests. Uh, Film Studio, we talked a little bit about this. This is um, a really fun way to give some motion and interaction with your guests. So we're actually taking the camera and we're moving it in and out with the guests and following them. Um, if you follow our Instagram, you'll see some really fun activations that we're starting to do with that. How many of you have um, taken your camera out of your booth and used it like handheld? Couples? They, most of your booths are able to, to remove that hardware and you can take it and offer like roaming photography services. Um, a lot of times you'll have an event where you know they want they want you to be able to interact with the guests out in uh, in the event. So. If you don't have, if you haven't taken it out, try it. It's a lot of fun. Tether it to a computer, walk around, shoot photos with your guests. You can shoot and share. Special effects. So with our, so the thing that I love about our software is that we can use um, different Photoshop actions and filters to achieve really unique effects with your guests. Most of these were done as a Photoshop action um, that runs concurrently with the software, so you're able to create. Some of these unique looks we have a, what's called a let filter lookup table so you can create the effect in photoshop and export it and it runs like this on your computer um some of you saw kelly oh this is so some of you recognize this software we also use SnapPick in some of our photo booths so we are not just software independent um so make sure that you are looking at different ways to utilize different services in your company uh, this is our CMYK filter where you're able to kind of create everything in the, the different color channels through Photoshop. Uh, what was my favorite one with Kelly? Was our glitch filter. There's our girl. So that's using one of our glitch filters, um, which is native to the software. You don't need Photoshop, and it just picks up um, a different color sphere, and it tracks the, the movement of your body. So this is a really, really great way for you to start implementing some of these different and unique looks without having to have um, a lot of additional 
technology, like you don't need a connect sensor to do something like this. You don't need to take your camera out of the booth and put it on a gym. This is something that you can start playing with right away within your software. Gifts and videos, these are some of my favorites. Um, this one was actually done where you see the gold effect on the hat and the scarf. Those were green hats and green scarves, and we, we built that as a green screen video experience, so everything that was green now popped out with that color. Um, client wanted to be able to execute a different look, but they didn't want that big, nasty green screen on the back, and so we were able to do that using their props. Um, this was a, a first gift that we did, and we created an opening and a closing video to kind of tie in the brand a little bit more. Uh, you saw the last one with the Terminator. It's one of my favorite activations. We um, used a liquefaction Photoshop action. And we took the photo and then it liquefied them into the Terminator and back out. Um, and that was all done just with Photoshop. There wasn't any like really creative software integration that we had to do on that one at all. And this one was fun. We uh, did a Hobbs and Shaw premiere. We were able to get some of the footage from the movie um, and create a, a GIF that was, again, more interactive and engaging, experiential, if you will. Um, Mosaic. This is, a, this is a great way to get your clients engaged on a grand scale. If you've got an event where um, you've got more than a three or four hour time frame and you are wanting to um, incorporate a hashtag, you can use it with roaming photography, you can have photos that are aggregated out of your photo booth. There's a lot of, way to, lot of ways to bring all those photos together and then the guests take that physical print and they're putting it on the mosaic. So it's not just a digital experience, but it's actually taking them back to the analog where they've actually got something physical and tangible and they're creating a, a masterpiece with you and with, with the other guests on site. Um, I'm really excited about this one. We've done a couple of them so far, and uh, it's, it's just really a unique way to kind of bring them into the process. So once you've learned how to use your software, and you, you've gotten to the point where, hey, okay, I'm ready to start you know, showing some of this off. I really want to uh, venture into that market. Then we talk about taking it from the pitch to the party. Um, and this is really where you start to develop some of your um, visual styles of presenting. So the thing, first part of the stage is pitching. You pitch to your clients, you're prepping for your event, you're presenting um, what you have to offer for the clients. So our philosophy is to be an industry expert. And that's what you guys are here for this week, is to really learn about what is out there, what the capabilities are, what your booth can do. I know a lot of you have some really amazing photo booths, some of you might have the infinite, and you don't really know how all the pieces work with it. So I encourage you to take part in the training sessions that they offer here. Um, I know there's a lot of sessions in the main conference center that talk about how to use some of the features in your booths, but really become an expert on what you do, know your products. Um, the next one is know your competitors. Know the competition in your market. Do your research. Find out what they're offering, what their price points are. Find out what their pain points are. As your guests are coming to you looking for services, they're coming to you for a reason because they're not getting something from somebody else. Um, so you really want to make sure that you're positioning yourself to be the solution for their problems. Um, know the industry. Take this time to really get to know the, the women and the men that you work beside. We are all collaborators, again, in this great big environment. And I, I always think that it's better to put you know, collaboration and colleagues above competition. Um, you might not be able to do everything, but as long as you have someone that you can reach out to for either help or to subcontract or white label that to, um, it really just broadens your network. With LA Photo Party, we sell our equipment, we sell our software, and you'd think that that would just create a huge industry of competitors for us, um, but what it's really done is created a wide network where we're able to reach out, and if I am not able to service an event in Boston, I might send it out to my beautiful friend here because she's got an infinite. If I can't do something in the DC area, I know that Sharon can handle that for me. 
um, because she's used our software. So it's really, this is a great opportunity for you to network with these women and, and be able to now open up a market that you, you know, before might not have had the opportunity to, to get into. And then lastly, you want to know your client's industry. As you start looking at whether it be a bride or a corporation, um, it's really important to get to know, you know who they are, what their pain points are, who their competitors are, um, so that when you're speaking to them, you're speaking their language, whether it be a brand, an agency, or as a vendor. Um, so there's really, so in the corporate environment, you can talk to people, clients in a number of ways. You can go direct to the brands, like I'm going to work directly with Target um, in a few weeks, and that was a direct business-to-business -business relationship. Um, most of the time, we're working right here in the agency environment, and this is where the marketing agencies will come to us as the vendor and ask us to provide uh, an experiential photo opportunity for their brands. So typically, we're, we're here, we're speaking with the agency who's working directly with the brand. This is most commonly the direction that you're going to be taking in the corporate environment, but sometimes you can cut out that, that middle agency. So when you're pitching to these clients, there's really four types of pitches. You have your cold pitch, where you're talking to new clients. You have an inquiry pitch, where clients are calling you. Um, most of this is probably going to be a, a result of your social media outreach, your uh, website, your SEO, your content, your email outreach. Um, so once they hear about you or see what you do, then they're coming in as, a, as a new, new inquiry. A refreshing pitch. We call these um, learn, lunch and learns. I just got back from New York doing four of these for our clients, and it's a great way to introduce new services to some of your old clients, past clients, existing clients. Um, and I'm hoping that after Photo Booth Expo, that a lot of you go home and, and brush up your pitch decks and go out and show all the new stuff that you can do. Um, and then momentum, where you're really just upselling active clients. Um, so you've got a, a Christmas party that you do every year for the dentist office. And next year you want to offer them a branded photo booth, or you want to do um, a green screen gift instead of a regular green screen photo booth. It's a way to upsell clients that you've already worked with on some of the new things that you're offering. Uh, so with your cold pitch, I, I'm not, probably not going to have time to go through all of these because I think I'm running out and I want to leave room for questions but I will make this available for Julia on the site so that you can download the slides. Um, it really talks to you about how to create your list, make your plan, how to develop your script. Um, for each of these different stages in the pitch process, there's, there's you know, certain expectations that you're gonna need to meet for your clients and, and make sure that you're doing the research to ask the right questions. What are they looking for? Who are, they, who are they looking at? Who are your competitors? Um, the momentum pitch, here's where we talked about the upsells, the vinyl wrapping, custom branded backdrops, custom branded tablet stands. Uh, in fact, here we'll show you some samples of the branding. Clients really love to see their brand everywhere. And so we offer a great way to do that. We're branding the tablet stands, we're branding the photo booth, we're doing vinyl wrapping. Um, it's a really affordable way for you to offer that service at a very, very great price to your clients. Um, to wrap a photo booth probably runs us about $150, and we start selling that to our clients at a minimum of $500. So it's all just pure profit right on the top. We offer templates like this that you're able to drop your images into. So as part of your pitch deck to these clients, you can show them, look, here's what your brand is going to look like wrapped on my beautiful photo booth. And then we bring that into the creative with their output. So you have all of the branded components in the hardware, and then you tie that into your output for the guests as well. So it all makes it a very cohesive look. Um, in your presentation, you want to show them all the fun different things that you can do. Um, if you don't have samples, reach out to your manufacturer who's selling you the booth or your software and say, hey, do you have any samples that I can use? Um, mo most often than not, they will have samples in their, in their folder that are available for you. Um, Kelly Williams always had a, had a great suggestion. 
take the shit home and learn how to use it and make your own samples. Um, which is really important because you really want to learn how to how to do it, yeah. I mean, you can sit here and, sh and, and sell all the stuff that I offer, but if you don't know how to use the software on site, um, you're not going to be able to execute that. So take it home, learn it, play with it, reach out to the manufacturer. For those of you who own our software, I'm always available. I'm very much happy to help you log into your system, show you how some of the stuff works. I don't make, I, that's not my job, I don't make anything off it, but I just, I, I love to be able to help you guys grow your business. The ABCs always be closing. You always want to ask them, um, you know, what, what's the budget? How, how much am I working with? It's a really hard question. It's really tough to talk about money with our clients, but I'm always asking them, you know, before I, before I pitch you the world, What's my soft budget? What you know? What target? What's my range? What am I looking at? I don't want to sell you body tracking at you know ten thousand dollars if you can only afford a green screen for two thousand um, dollars. Create a sense of urgency. You really want to create that scarcity mentality within your clients, and I think that too often we get stuck in that scarcity mentality trap, and we're worried that oh my god, if I don't get this, if I don't get this event. I, they're going to go to my competitors. I better knock my price off by two hundred fifty dollars. Um, but what you really want to do is create that mentality in your client. And the way you're going to do that is, you know, we're great, we're wonderful. I, I've only got this for the next two hours. I've got somebody else who's calling me. Um, I don't know. I have to check the calendar. We've got three other events that day. I'll see if we have a booth available. But I, I would really need to know by the end of the day if you're moving forward with this. You know, you open up your social media channels, Instagram, how many times do you get an ad that pops up that says, you know, three hours left? I am a sucker for that stuff, man. If I think I'm gonna go lose out, I got FOMO up the butt. <laughs> Create that sense of urgency in your clients. Um, make, it, make it feel like they've only got one chance to get this. Um, and you really need to create that perceived difference in your, in your services, which creates a perceived value in their mind. Um, and the re really the way you're going to do that is pitching it, presenting it, showing them samples, making it theirs. And then lastly, ask for the business. We get so hung up on all of the rest of the stuff. I think I should have spent way more time on this stage right here. If you don't ask for it, they can't say yes. So always be closing, always be asking for the business. You know, what, what else, what, what can we do to move this to the next level? Do you see any reason why we can't move forward? Try to get them to a yes. Did you find anything in this presentation that, that you thought might fit into your, into your business? Do you think something like this would work for your event? Get to the yes, get to the yes. You're preparing them to say yes to you. So I think that was the last thing. I have some case studies that talk about, that kind of show some examples of how we've worked with some big clients, big festivals, it's not always the big thing that's the most important. What you want to do is make that event unique to your client. And again, whether that be Target or whether that be Trisha, because Trisha's got the same needs and motivation and desire to make her event the most amazing experience for her guests. And we're a really big part of that. This was a, so we did a face morphing where we turned the guests right here into this villain for Mr. Mercedes. And then we printed out a lenticular lens. Have you guys heard of lenticulars? It's like old technology that, that's, what's, up, what's, no, what's old is new again. You know, a lot of the things that we're, we're doing now are reminiscent of things from our past. If you go to a fair, you'll see where they make that flip photo where it's like 3D. Yeah. Um, that's what we've done here is like we've turned that digital experience into an analog product that they can take home. So it's just ways of finding unique um, capabilities to, to bring that experience into your client. Uh, this was amazing. We did these slow motion videos that were positioned in the corners of these break rooms. Oh my God, so cathartic. You take this bat and you whack the shit out of stuff and they record it in a slow motion video. Like, it's amazing. They actually have a bar in New York called the Break Bar. And you can go in and smash stuff. Yes, I think I think we need to do that next year. Julia, <laughs> I'm going to sponsor a break room next year. Yeah. 
And we have Kelly Williams actually went to this event for us, so she's in one of these videos. Here she, she is. is. <laughs> she'll smash some old technology. Oh, wow. So super fun. We actually output this in um, Instagram story uh, aspect ratio. So guests were able to get that video and post it directly to their Instagram story. So it didn't have this funky bar on the top and bottom. It was just that, I think it's 16.9 or whatever the format is. So anyway, I hope I've given you guys some... Uh, interesting things to think about. Go home, learn your software. If you don't have something that does this currently, um, come by our booth, come visit LA Photo Party, or find somebody else that, that resonates with you. But um, really, start making fun happen this year. Make 2020 the year that you really expand your business, get experiential, engage with your clients, and ask for the business. You have about 10 minutes, so if you want oh. questions. Okay, great. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. <laughs> My question is, are you guys building the sets or do you guys work with the set builder? Like, how do you get, because that's where I feel like too, it's like if I can't build something, are you, did you? We all always work with a production company okay. to build out the sets. And typically that's done through the agency. Okay. Um, they're working with a, uh, a set designer. Um, but if that's something that you want to be able to offer as part of your portfolio, if you just look up set designers in your market, you might be able to find someone to collaborate with um, and pitch them your services as an add-on to what they're presenting because they're be building this beautiful, great, wonderful set. They're going to want to capture some some really fun photos against it. Yeah. Isn't that something more technical? I I think that with PBU, um, you need to have like Wi-Fi um, to make it work. I don't know if that's is that correct? Mm -mm. Once you have your, so you can build your, your PBU at, at home on your booth or on your computer, right. and you can export that into a file that you load onto your photo booth. Um, the only time that you would need Wi-Fi is if you want to share directly from the booth. Um, you can actually sh have your booth talk to your sharing station um, over a, uh, a router or a network. It doesn't necessarily have to be connected to the internet, but nothing will send out or push to the clients until you are connected to the internet. But just to run your booth without a sharing station, you don't have to be connected to the internet. Lisa at LA Photo Party, I'll be happy to help you. No, but seriously though. I do have the program. It is complicated, but I love it. Yeah. It is, it is, it is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's intimidating. It can be intimidating at first until you start getting into it. And then it starts to make a little more sense how, how all the different yes. pieces work. How huh, Lisa? Yes. How do you get some of your clients out of their comfort zone? So I have clients that we won't be at last year. We won't be at last year. We won't be at last year. So I'm thinking that Lunch and Learn is a great solution. Oh, yeah. I kind of glossed over that, didn't I? Lunch and Learns. So. Part of what you saw here was some of what I use in my pitch deck when I'm when I'm meeting these clients. Um, the lunch and learn is a great opportunity. I took in bagels and cream cheese or whatever the hell I took in. I'm sure something carb laden. Um, but we I put it into this really great PowerPoint presentation and showed them, you know, well look if we just did if we just did this instead of this for this year, I mean to create a new experience. Branding, show them how you can brand their booth, even if it's just an upsell on, on how it looks rather than what it's capable of. Um, it's just something to, to get them to start thinking new. But just show them some new ideas. If it's something, again, if you don't have something like this in your deck or that you've done already, talk to your booth manufacturer or your software company and, and see if they've got any samples that you can use. Um, oftentimes they'll make a sample for you. Like with LA Photo Party, um, we've got a design service I don't think Susie Chang is here. She's out of Chicago. Um, she uses this a lot, she's got her photo booth, but she'll hire our designers to create samples for her, um, and then she'll present those to her clients, and nine times out of 10, she's landing that business because of the sample. So, LA Photo Party, we do have our in-house designers who can make those samples for you. I'm sure that, you know, Freeze or Photomaster or Snapdrick or whoever you're using, probably also has the capabilities to do that. And I would really encourage you just, it, it's gonna cost you some money up front, but then it's something that you have for your deck that you can use later. Anything else? All right, well ladies, have a great time. Get some massage chairs back there. Thank you so much.